radar and um, over the last six hours uh, we're seeing um, green blobs you know it's raining outside and we even have some thunder and lightning associated as well I know it's Labor Day I know I know it's all right you will like there's a 20% chance of storms throughout the day today let's take a look at where it's kind of all coming from there's a low off the central and northern California coastline and that has a counterclockwise rotating flow there's a high south of the four corners and these two doesn't evaporate by the time that it would get to the ground and uh, with that we have intact raindrops that hit the ground hit your car hit your lawn hey you know what you might even be able to turn off your sprinkler today 79 percent relative humidity there at Lindbergh field and here comes the heat baby here it comes high pressure over the four corners that I showed you before expands moves back to the west a little bit drags back in that humid air for us and really makes things uncomfortable for a few days. This one, we got up to 97 degrees, 20 degrees above average. What? How can that be? That would happen if we didn't have a thermal low kicking up in the deserts and we didn't have uh, the waters weren't as cold as they are just offshore. That's what the weather would be like all the time here. So, uh, it's just a little glimpse of what is man the cheese was good man the what? Some the cheese, cheese. Good. okay Chrissy go ahead I'm sorry thank you guys mm -hmm. all right all right um foggy this morning hey we hey a dense fog advisory until eight o'clock this morning along the coastline and into the inland valleys it's 64 degrees at Lindbergh uh, variable winds I think this Oceanside reading has been false throughout the morning dew point temperatures are high like yesterday but not for the same reason 89 percent relative humidity look at these high temperatures where the wild animal park is in San Pasqual Valley got to do that we're taking look at this full moon what an amazing full moon that is and look at how it reflects on the bay it's just it's just spectacular what a pretty morning it feels like fall and it'll feel like fall throughout the throughout the uh, week this week um, a clear morning mostly clear I should say nice full moon and mountain thunderstorms possible later this afternoon it's 63 degrees at Lindbergh Field 81 percent relative humidity and nice calm winds Sun comes up at 630 now uh, 50 percent chance of showers for you in the uh, mountains and in the deserts the chances of your thunderstorms happening for you in the inland valleys and the coastline are going up as the morning progresses. Early six degrees of temperature at Lindbergh, 78% relative humidity. And later today, an amazing day with temperatures five to 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Low 70s beaches, upper 70s in the inland valleys. It's still summertime. Wow. I'm going. Are you going? I decided. Outstanding. Speaking of music, coming up here on uh, Fox 5. We're how am I going to say bye to it when it goes to college? Well, how are you going to do that in, in 18 yeah. or 19 years? You know, like, <laughs> she's a planner. She's a, I'm like, get yes. Hey, coming up. <laughs> Look hot while working out. It's called a tease. I hate that. Let's get to the weather. Oh, I was just going to say, good. is it me or like rapper girls, like the prettiest girls out there? <laughs> they are gorgeous. They she's get... not a rapper girl, Monica. Yeah, she's, she's a, a rapper girl. Well, singer. She's a singer. She, she got rapper. a little, little R&B going on there. She's stunning. <laughs> <laughs> what she's... are you laughing at? What? She's gorgeous. It's like, I don't even hear what she's singing. I'm like, oh my gosh. She she's is pretty. Cool. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, it's your read. It's still your read. That's where we're waiting. Oh. <laughs> the coffee and tea working today. Well, I had coffee and it's yeah. not working. Well, yeah. I did too. <laughs> I thought it would make the baby go crazy, but he's just asleep right now. He's sucking his thumb. Oh, boy. <laughs> Coming up here on Fox 5, some of your favorite. This is very exciting for me. Some of your favorite Disney characters are Ferb. It's awesome. Um, there seems to be an app for everything <laughs> these days. So coming up in just a few moments, we're going to tell you about one. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Airing it out. You Airing it, I mean? it out. Airing <laughs> it out. <laughs> just let it flow. You know what I mean? Just let it flow. I know. It's hot. <laughs> yesterday, we broke we broke a record for high temperatures yesterday. We got started it. I'll, I'll suck up with you. Okay. Okay. Isn't that a great picture that our we? It's so good. Look at, like, he has a good eye for it. I, he framed it up perfectly. Are you missing out on an opportunity to suck up a little bit here? Oh, yeah. he let... You busted! You busted! I'm not busted. 
That's Thank you. Up. See what well, I Well, I didn't yeah. agree to the sucking up thing. I don't know where she started it. I'll, I'll suck up with you. Okay. Okay. No there, you way. there you go. There you go. I want to ride all night long. <laughs> Don't go my way. I love the way producer Ryan laughs in our ear. It makes me laugh. It's like a He's laugh like, that goes in a laugh and then a laugh comes out. It's like their job to yell at us, right? It's like in producer school, they're like, here's how you yell at the in anchors. producer school. Ryan, Ryan couldn't even do it. He's like, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, the sports commentators, you know, the color, the color commentators and the, and the play-by-play -play guys, they're going to love that. I mean, it rolls right off your tongue. Meta world peace. You know what would be great? Scores two. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. See what I mean? That was right on. That hey. was perfect. What? What's wrong with him? Why are you making faces? All right, thanks, Raul, and good morning to you. Rain or shine, peak fire season in San Diego is typically this month and next. So are you prepared? Fox 5's Lauren Nancaro has more in this morning's Going Green segment powered by SDG&E. Ends on Halloween. Bro, you want a doggy? <laughs> yes, thank you. Get this together, right? Right, right, we're on the same page. Okay, let's do a, a happy tale. We Last week, you saw the whole litter of 7-Up, the six-pack of the puppies. President Obama is set to make his job speech tonight. The president will deliver his address. Before Republican candidates for president may be waking up a little bruised this morning. They tangled last night in a very contentious debate at the Ronald Reagan Library in California. Here, Simi Valley, Fox's Douglas Zader has more on where the race stands from Washington. All right, thanks, Raul. Let's check in with Heather Ford. She's live in Hillcrest this morning as businesses there are, are trying to get back to normal. It's good to see that they're open. Thank you, Heather. Most definitely. Thank you, Shali. All right, still ahead on Fox 5, we are getting charged up. Live look from our Fox Sports Grill cam atop the Hilton Bayfront. Okay, uh, the lights are back on, and we've been talking about this boil order. It is still in place for some neighborhoods. All right, Chrissy, thank you. President Obama expects to send his jobs bill to Congress today. The president of America expected to announce it will cut, cut rather, at least 40,000 jobs nationwide. Facebook while there's now an investigation also ahead. Chrissy, thank you. It was a very nervous day for airlines yesterday as the world observed the 10-year mark of 9-11. Two military members is drawing criticism. The shirt says, allergic to algebra. Can I show you my favorite? Please. Well, the, one of my favorites. Kara's nice, too. Hey, my girl Olivia Munn. 99 degrees further up to the north, 101 in Miramar, the same out over toward Vista, 102 in Fallbrook, Oceanside at around 94. The mountains a little bit cooler, Julian only at 82. You notice the deserts, even 97, that's the same number, in fact, that San Diego is at. Tomorrow, temperatures, at least along the coast, are forecasted to slide just a tad, but we're still going to remain very warm. We're also going to continue dealing with that high humidity, making it feel oh so sticky. The reason reason being the dew point. You can see the reason being we have this area of high pressure. It's two hours south, but it is clockwise flow, so trying to pull in some subtropical moisture. Something a little interesting here in the water vapor, though. Notice the brown swath. That's dry air, and it's actually just to our north out over toward Orange County, and so they're not dealing with any of the muggy air. If you want to escape it, that's the place to go. We're going to continue to stay sticky at least for the next three days, and this is what it's going to do to your skin as far as making it feel like waking up tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. 80 degrees is what it will feel like already into San Diego. Escondido Springs today picked up almost half an inch of rain there. Radar showing us it started earlier into the morning hours. This is from the past 12 hours. And you can see most of the activity stayed out over toward the mountains and deserts. Notice the area shaded in red at times. You have very heavy storms at times. However, it does look like things are quieting down at least for now. But they will be back into the forecast tomorrow in the morning when we have enough upper level energy moving on through. So the desert forecast starting you off at 7 a.m. 78 degrees, a 20% shot of storms by noon. Up at 66 degrees though into San Diego. Noticing humidity, 81%. Winds now 5 miles per hour. Winds are forecasted to stay fairly light. But they are going to pull in some upper level support that's going to give us the chance yet again of some severe thunderstorms tomorrow.
satellite radar takes us back the last 12 hours. The culprit today, an area of low pressure was taking just off the coast yesterday, has continued to push out a little bit further over toward New Mexico. You can see the heavier rainfall out ahead of it as it goes in that clockwise flow, picking up that subtropical moisture, kicking it out of town, though moving it off to the north and east. We are going to see, in order to be severe, has to have winds of about 58 miles per hour, hail, an inch in size, or capable of producing a tornado. We did not get any of the severe criteria, at least here into uh, San Diego County, although rivers where they could be dealing with some thunderstorm potential. Yet again, not anticipating a whole lot of rainfall, but if you're caught in a downpour and it's not moving, then you can see maybe uh, up to about a quarter of an inch in rainfall. It should end, though, for the early half of the day. So breaking it down, your inland forecast, 58 degrees by 7 a.m. inland, 80 by noon, 81 by 5 o'clock. That's when the pretty skies come on out. In the mountains, you'll notice your chance of rain only 20%. Remember, 5 to 10% shot that it could be severe by 7 7 a.m. and then forget about the moisture. You're 76 degrees by noon and seeing plenty of sunshine. Currently with overcast conditions, you can see our dew point 58 degrees. That's fairly low. We have drier air moving in, so no rain chance. But we are going to see the cloudiest day on Friday. The reason being that area of low pressure, you remember we've been talking about this all week long, brought the chance of rain for the mountains and deserts, continued though to push off toward the east. We are on the back side. So when we get that counterclockwise flow, you'll notice our winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere coming down out of the northeast, rushing down some of that temperatures, driving home 5 o'clock. Go ahead and let those windows down. It'll be cool outside into the 60s for La Mesa, the 70s though out over toward Ramona. And lucky you, if Friday night you have a babysitter, it's date night, maybe you guys are going out to the movies, you and your loved one. We're talking about 63 degrees out over toward Oceanside. Temperatures are going to stay on the cool side even as you head out maybe toward the... Fortunately, we are going to stay on the cool side. The good news is we are going to warm up by next work week. Here's the reason. We have an area of low pressure. It's still out over toward New Mexico. We're getting in on that backside, filtering in that cooler air mass. However, high pressure still out into the Pacific. It's getting a little bit closer to us. It should arrive in our neck of the woods sometime Sunday, and you will really begin to feel its effects Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which is right now forecasted to be the warmest day of the week. So you just have to go through the weekend. I know the timing's not. Typically, we're around the mid-60s, so temperatures are staying below normal in the afternoon as well as into the evening hours. At 3 o'clock, you can see Julian, 71 degrees. Santee also at about 74. San Diego, 66. That's where we were today. We should get a little bit higher, though, once the afternoon continues to kick along. If you are heading out, Maybe early Sunday morning, catching some brunch with the ladies, 9 a.m. It is going to be mild still, Ramona at about 71 degrees. Oceanside 64, San Diego.